people, you're specially welcome to TGD TV News. And if this is your first time coming across my page on news for the very first time, I say you a super welcome. I remain your humble sister from another mother. My name is Tila Excellency of the Federal Republic of Mark Kingdom, Tahila the Great. Now the news. Since the President of Nigeria, His Excellency Ahmed Bola Tunibu, presented the budget of hope for the 2024 at the National Assembly, it has been raising a whole lot of controversial issues in the heart of Nigerians. Some are castigating the budget, while some are saying no, next year is going to be better than this year. Among which are what Tinubu wants to do for the former president of this country that have served us and have used the Nigerian wealth to empower themselves, he still want to be paying them salary. These are many more other things I want us all to discuss at the comment section. Not just that, I'll allow you to patiently listen to Tinubu himself. Then we'll analyze detail of this budget at the comment section. Again, he gives special recognition to the Abuja landlord, our two-faced man, who is in APC and in PDP, talking about yes on wiki. So beautiful people, I don't want to talk too much. I want you to patiently listen to the detail of what Tinibu told us in the National Assembly and let's talk at the comment section. Do not forget to keep sharing this video. Do not forget to keep liking. Bring your thought like at the comment section. Let's discuss detail about this thing. So patiently listen right now as the Senate President of Nigeria, His Excellency Senator Gospel Akpabio, is going to offshore in Mr. President to give us a speech. Keep watching, keep sharing, keep liking. I will be right back. So distinguished colleagues and other members, with us at this point, welcome the President. A man with track record and alumnus of the National Assembly to present his budget estimates. Can we give him a resounding applause? Thank you very much. The Vice President, Senator Kashim Ibrahim Shetima, GCOA. The Senate President, Distinguished Senator Goswil Akwabio, GCOA. Thank you for your beautiful remark. And I'm glad I'm feeling at home. Feeling welcome. The Right Honorable Speaker, Tajuddin Abbas. APC National Chairman, His Excellency Abdullah Umar Ganduji. Executive Governors, they are present, my former colleagues and others. The Chief of Staff, distinguished leaders and members of the National Assembly, Secretary to the Government of the Federation. Landlord or our landlord, distinguished years and wicked. Other government officials here present, gentlemen of the press. Ladies and gentlemen, in furtherance of my sacred duty 
and obligations as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is my honor to be here today to present my administration's 2024 budget proposal. Today's joint session of the 10th National Assembly. This moment is especially profound and significant to me because it is my first annual budget presentation to the National Assembly. Distinguished senators and honorable members of the National Assembly, I commend your swift consideration and passage of the 2023 Supplementary Appropriation B and the 2024 to 2026 medium term expenditure framework and physical strategy paper. Your prompt action underscores your devotion to economic development and to the greater welfare of our people. It is also highlight, it also highlights your desire to work in close collaboration with the executive branch. We do not serve ourselves. I appreciate you. We must always strive to work together to serve and benefit the people of our beloved country. Once again, I say thank you. Well done. I am here today confident that the National Assembly will continue to work closely with us to ensure that the deliberations on the 2024 budget are thorough, but also concluded with reasonable dispatch. Our goal is for the Appropriation Act to come to effect on the 1st of January 2024. I trust you will do it. It is by now a matter of recorded history that my first physical intervention as president of this great nation was to end the fuel subsidy regime, which has proven to be so harmful to the overall health of our national economy. The second was to negotiate and subsequently present a supplementary budget to enable my government to fund the items needed to restore macroeconomic stability and mitigate the harsh impact of subsidy removal. The third was to secure a second supplementary budget, this time to enable us to keep our promises to promote national security invest in infrastructure, and provide much needed support to the most vulnerable household in our society. In swearing in my cabinet and reflecting on the unique challenges facing us, I invited the ministers to imagine that we are attempting to draw water from a dry well. Today, I stand before you to present our budget of renewed hope, a budget which will go further than ever before in cementing macroeconomic stability, reducing the deficit, increasing capital spending, and allocating allocation to reflect the eight priority areas of this administration. The budget we now present constitutes a foundation upon which we shall erect the future of this great nation. Analyzing prevailing economic environment, economic condition remains challenging both abroad and at home. Despite lingering post-COVID supply and production bottlenecks, and conflict in various parts of the world, 
Our restrictive monetary policies in major economies, we expect global growth to hover around 3.0% in year 2024. This relatively rich has significant implications for our economy due to our current reliance on importation. The distinguished senators, honorable members, despite the global headwind, the Nigerian economy has proven resilient, maintaining modest but positive growth over the past 12 months. Inflation has trended upward, yes, due to the weak global conditions. To contain these rising domestic prices, we will ensure effective coordination of physical and monetary policy measures and collaborate with subnational governments to address structural factors driving in inflation in Nigeria. The budget proposal meets our goal of completing critical infrastructure projects, which will help address structural problems in the economy by lowering the cost of doing business for companies and the cost of living for average person. The Honorable Minister of Budget and Economic Planning will be providing full details of this proposal. Analyzing performance of the 2023 budget, distinguished senators and honorable members, an aggregate revenue of 110.45 trillion naira was projected to fund the 2023 budget of 24.82 trillion naira, with a deficit of about 6.1% of GDP. As of September 30th, the federal government's actual aggregate revenue inflow was 8.65 trillion naira, approximately 96% of the targeted 8.28 trillion naira. Despite the challenges, we continue to meet all our obligations. So the theme and priority of the 2024 budget distinguished senators, honorable members, permit me to highlight key issues relating to the budget proposal for the next fiscal year. The 2024 appropriation has been themed budget of renewed hope. The proposed budget seeks to achieve job-rich economic growth, macroeconomic stability, a better investment environment, enhanced human capital development, as well as poverty reduction and greater access to social security. Defense and internal security are recorded top priority the internal security architecture will be overhauled to enhance law enforcement capabilities and safeguard lives, property, and investment across the country. <laughs> Human capital is the most critical resource of national development. Accordingly, the budget prioritizes human development with particular attention to children, the foundation of our nation. <laughs> to improve the effectiveness of our budget performance, government will focus on ensuring value for money, greater transparency and accountability. In this regard, we will work with more closely with development partners and the private sector to address long-standing issues in education, a more sustainable model of funding 
tertiary education will be implemented, including the student loan scheme planned to become operational by January 2024. <laughs> A stable macroeconomic environment is important to catalyze private investment and accelerate economic growth. We have and shall continue to implement business and investment friendly measures to sustainable growth. We expect the economy to grow by a minimum of 3.76% above the forecasted world average. Inflation is expected to moderate to 21.4% in 2024. In preparing the 2024 budget, our primary objective has been to sustain our robust foundation for sustainable economic development. A critical focus of this budget and the medium-term expenditure framework is Nigeria's commitment to greener future, emphasizing public-private partnership we have strategically made provision to leverage private capital for big ticket infrastructure projects in energy, transportation, and other sectors. This marks a critical step towards diversifying our energy mix, enhancing efficiency, and fostering the development of renewable energy sources by allocating resources to support innovative and environmentally conscious initiatives. We aim to position Nigeria as a regional leader in the global movement towards cleaner and sustainable energy. As we approach COP28 Climate Summit, a pivotal moment for global climate action, I have directed relevant government agencies to diligently work towards securing substantial funding comment that will bolster Nigeria's energy transition. It is imperative that we seize this opportunity to attract international partnership and investment that align with our national goals. I call upon the representatives to engage proactively to showcase the strides we have made in the quest to create an enabling environment for sustainable energy projects. Together, we will strive for Nigeria to emerge from COP28 with tangible commitments, reinforcing our dedication to a future where energy is not only a catalyst for development, but also a driver of our environmental stewardship. Distinguished members of the National Assembly, the revised 2024 to 2026 medium term expenditure framework, MTEF, and fiscal strategy, FSP set out the parameters for the 2024 budget after a careful review of development in the world oil market and domestic conditions. We have adopted a conservative oil price benchmark of 77.96 US dollar per barrel and daily oil production estimate of 1.78 million barrels a day. We have also adopted a Naira to US dollar exchange rate of 750 per US dollar for 2024. Accordingly, an aggregate expenditure of 27.5 trillion Naira is proposed for the federal government in 2024, of which the non debt recurrent expenditure is 9.92 trillion naira, while debt service is projected downward 
to be 8.25 trillion naira and capital expenditure is 8.7 trillion naira. Nigeria remains committed to meeting its debt obligations. Projected debt service is 45% of the expected total revenue. The budget deficit is projected at 9.18 trillion naira in 2024, or 3.88% of GDP. This is lower than the 13.7 trillion naira deficit recorded in year 2023, which represents 6.11% of GDP. The deficit will be financed by new borrowings, totaling 7.83 trillion naira. Strategically, 2.98 billion naira from privatization proceeds and 1.05 trillion naira drawdown on multilateral and bilateral loans secure for specific projects. Our government remains committed to broad-based and shared economic prosperity. We are reviewing social investment programs to enhance their implementation and effectiveness, in particular, the National Social Safety Net project will be expanded to provide targeted cash transfer to poor and vulnerable households. In addition, effort will be made to graduate assisted beneficiary towards productive activities and employment. We are currently reviewing our tax and fiscal policies. Our target is to increase the ratio of revenue to GDP from less than 10% currently to 18% within the term of this administration. Government will make effort to further contain financial leakages through effective implementation of a key financial management reforms. Distinguished senators, honorable members, in view of the limited resources available through the federal budget, we are also exploring public-private partnership, the arrangement to finance critical infrastructure. We therefore invite the private sector to partner with us to ensure that our physical trade and monetary policy, as well as our developmental programs and projects, succeed in unlocking the latent potential of our people and other natural endowments in line with our national aspirations. Distinguished senators and honorable members, this budget presentation will be incomplete without commending the patriotic resolve of the 10th National Assembly to collaborate with the executive on our mission to renew hope and deliver on our promises to the Nigerian people. I assure you of the strong commitment of the executive to sustain and deepen the relationship with National Assembly. As you continue to consider the 2024 budget estimate, we trust that the legislative review process will be conducted with a view to sustaining our desired return to a predictable January to December fiscal year. I have no doubt that will be guided by the interests of all Nigerians. We must ensure that only projects and programs that, I mean, with equitable benefits are allowed into the 2024 budget. Additionally, only projects and programs which are in line with the sectoral mandates of MDAs and uh, which are capable of realizing the vision of our government should be included in the budget. As a government, we are 
are committed to improving the lot of our people and delivering on our promises to them. The 2024 budget has the potential to boost performance, promote the development of macro, micro, and small and medium-sized enterprises, enhance security and public safety, and improve general living condition of our people. We have not considered great opportunity coming from mineral, solid mineral, and other areas. But I promise you that the recovery is here. It is in your hands to thoroughly look into the situation. Being sympathetic with the ordinary people out there who put their confidence on us and rest their hope with your and my family. In closing, I am confident that this budgetary allocation and directives will set Nigeria on transformative path towards a sustainable and resilient energy future, fostering growth economically, job creation, and environmental preservation. It is with great pleasure, therefore, that I will leave before you this distinguished joint section of the National Assembly, the 2024 budget proposal of the Federal Government of Nigeria. <laughs> the title is Renew Old Budget. I thank you most sincerely for attending for your attention. May we collectively chart the course towards a brighter and cleaner future for our great nation. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria and God bless you all. Thank you very much. mandate we shall stand beautiful people thank you i hope you've listened to what mr president said a whole lot of positive and negative discussions has been going on in the media since president Tenebu released his renew hope budget of change according to his speech so guys do not forget to bring your thought like at the comment section thank you for watching i'll see my next video Bye bye